Hi, Lee Ashby here again. I'm just looking at the X Shipping Pro plugin for OpenCart. Uh, this is the second video. The first one we looked at global settings um, and the flat rate uh, for Australia. In this one, I want to take a look at the free shipping uh, settings that we've got. Um, so for this method, we've called it Free Shipping Australia. Um, and as the name suggests, uh, it's for setting up free shipping. Um, so for this plugin, we're looking at free shipping for Australian orders over $150. So on the general tab, um, we've just got it enabled. Uh, we're not using a group for this one. Um, we possibly could, um, but I don't think it's necessary. And the main thing we want to look at is the criteria. Um, so it's for any store, for any zone, for any city. Um, it only applies for Australia. And it only applies to our default customer group. We will deal with um, wholesale separately and we don't want to give them free shipping um, at this stage. So we've got that unticked. If we wanted to give them free shipping, um, we certainly could by ticking that there. Uh, the main thing, other main thing we want to look at here um, is the category and product page. Um, so this is basically where we add the exceptions uh, to free shipping. Um, so we don't want to give away free shipping um, if we've got these heavy products in here. Um, we want to charge a heavy product surcharge uh, for these products. So the settings we've got here um, is for any category um, except these selected products. Um, so it's pretty pretty cut and dry there that if you've got these products in your cart, you're not eligible um, for the free shipping. Um, so you could have a play around here if you wanted to and, and have um, have uh, different products in different categories or, or set up set up um, your products in a different way if you like to make it um, a bit simpler or depending on how you've got your, your store set up. Um, but for me, I think um, having that granular control where you can add the products in and out um, works well. So for any any category, and then you just put in uh, the product that you want uh, to exclude from, from free shipping. And down the bottom, you've got any product option. Um, but again, perhaps you could um, tick something there and add in some special options that if they've chosen the large size, uh, for example, that's... Uh, that's that's excluded from the from the free shipping, but um, again, I think keeping it simple is uh, the easiest way to go. So for setting up the pricing for the free shipping, um, the way that I've used is uh, on the grand total. Um, so you've got a few options there, but grand total, um, the unit range starting at one hundred and fifty up to nine 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 nine. Uh, and the cost is zero. And you can set up per unit blocks and things like that. Um, we might dig into that into the next video. Um, but for free shipping, that's all the settings you need. Um, and the final cost calculation, uh, which got that set to single, which basically relates to that single row. And again, the percentage, that's for something else that we don't need to worry about. Um, there's more complex um, price adjustments that you can add here. but we won't get into those. Uh, on the Others tab, we've kept this all the same, so it's available all the time at any, at any, uh, any stage um, based on delivery dress. Um, I have actually used the hide methods um, little thing here uh, for this one, so I've actually hidden uh, the other methods that would get triggered anyway, um, so we just prevent them from displaying um, if the rest is true. Um, so yeah, that's bas basically it. If you want to see it on the on the front end, um, we can remove a few of these heavy uh, products, and let's see if we can trigger the free shipping. So at the moment, if we were to look at Australia, let's just pick somewhere and get quotes. Uh, we've got our flat rate shipping there, which is what we want. Let's just, I'm not sure if this is in stock enough to give us the amount that we need to trigger over 150. 
Yeah, it looks like it is. That's good. So we've got 200 odd dollars for this one. Let's see if we can get some free shipping. Yay, there we go. Free shipping. So free shipping on all Australian orders over 150. So we've only presented with the one option, which is great. It makes it nice and simple for the customer. You can tick that and apply shipping. And there we go, zero dollars, and we would proceed to the checkout. So that works quite well. Um, obviously, we'd do some more testing to make sure that that uh, is working well with um, all the other options that we've got. Uh, for example, if you're logged in as a wholesaler, we'd want to test that um, free shipping doesn't uh, apl apply to them. Uh, likewise, uh, we, if we added a, um, a heavy product in there, we wouldn't want free shipping um, to show up and be an option. Uh, but I won't won't cover that in this video, but uh, that's uh, basically how you set up uh, free shipping. Well, certainly how I've set it up. I think there's many ways to skin a cat, um, as they say. Uh, in the next video, we'll take a look at the large and heavy item uh, options. Okay, thanks. Cheers.